Okay, we're going to tie a pattern out of uh, some of this new Enrico SE fiber. It's just going to be a really simple small bait fish, which is, you know, best for uh, winter time around here. None of the bait is very large, so we're going to stick to something a little smaller. The two colors that we're using are uh, the Polar Bear White SE and we're also using the mullet uh, which is 3D color in SE as well. The two types of flash that we're going to use are uh, the pearl green Enrico flash and the pearl olive Enrico flash which really isn't all that pearl it's it's more of a olive brown a little bit of red um, nice nice color though the hook I'm using is not really readily available to the general public I just bought 2,000 of these things in order to get them uh, it's a VMC uh, hook 7106 BN in one knot it's a good stout heavy hook uh, I like using heavier hooks for Enrico patterns considering that the material itself is hydrophobic it the heavy hook tends to make it sink a little better it also makes it track better um, I find that most people tie way too much Enrico material onto their flies and because of that they tend to float and they don't track right um, hopefully we'll run through this I'm going to start off with some of the white material, the polar bear white, and I'm going to put it up on top of the shank of the hook. And in this particular instance, I'm going to V it in this way. So it's sitting on top of the hook like this. I'm using uh, Flymaster 6 out thread. I like uh, Flymaster thread. I don't like mono. You know, most of the, all of the Enrico patterns are tied with mono. I just don't care for the stuff. Flat thread is, to me, a lot better bet than using a round thread. Um, okay, after we've tied in the Polar Bear White, I'm going to bring in some of this Enrico flash material and I'm going to V that in across the thread and bring some on your side as well as some on my side probably used a little too much here okay now just beneath that in, on the same exact tie-in point I'm going to tie in some red silky fiber for a gill okay and I'm gonna cut it just a little longer than the hook okay now I'm gonna move forward on my hook up to the hook eye and since I'm already on the underside I'm gonna go ahead and tie in my white polar bear color again I'm this time I am not veeing it this way I am veeing it in this way okay so I place it I'm gonna put two wraps to kind of hold it in place and I'm gonna bring the two ends around bring it down tight and put a few thread wraps on it. Now again we're going to use that pearl green flash and I'm going to V that in on the outside of the material I just tied in. Now 
Again, the way that I like to do it is just kind of plant it where you want it. Put like two thread wraps in front of it. Bring the material on either side. And go ahead and tie it down. Okay. Now I'm going to flip over. Get back up on top. And I'm going to bring in a bundle of my mullet color. Now, this one, um, I'm going to tie in this way so it lays on top, not like this. Put a few thread wraps on that. And then lastly, I'm going to bring in some of this pearl olive flash. Like I say, it really isn't pearl. I don't know if you can see that or not. Lay that in on either side of the olive that or the mullet that I just put in and we're done with the fly. I'm going to put uh, some thread wraps, you know, build my head up just a little bit. And I'm going to whip finish. Excuse me, I'm left handed, do it right handed. Okay, so we have a completed bait fish profile. I'm going to cut off the little tag ends of this flash to get it out of the way here. Now, the next bit is I've got a poodle brush. This is a wire brush that I picked up at a pet shop. Um, these poodle brushes are great. You need to comb out all Enrico flies. The idea is to get all the material going in the same direction so it's all straight for when you do the final trim on it. Excuse me just a moment. Doesn't take too many strokes on each side. And you can see the fly is fluffed up, you know, quite a bit. Okay, now, big scissors, you got to have big scissors for this. I'm going to go from the center point of the fly, I'm going to comb this just a little bit. Okay, center point of the, f center point of this is about right here. I'm going to bring in my scissors and I'm going to trim down toward that hook point down there. Okay. Now, I'm going to go around the other direction. And I'm going to trim in a little more sharply up. And I'm going to take a little of that too. Okay. pretty much going to be my bait fish shape as you can see. Now I'm going to stick a couple of eyes on this and then I'll be back to show you what this thing looks like in the finished product. The eyes go right at the beginning of the, the uh, right at the tie-in point for that red silky fiber so it's actually getting glued in clear in back of the hook um, eyes don't, you don't have eyes up on your nose, you have eyes that are down inside the bait fish. I'll be right back. Okay, there's the finished pattern. You can see it's pretty sparse. Uh, I like them sparse, they don't sink if they aren't. Um, I use uh, uh, 
uh, fletch tight. It's a fletching glue uh, to glue my eyes on and these are I think six millimeter um, holographic 3D eyes. But there really isn't all that much to this. You can see I tied that fly quite quickly. Um, and generally I tie a whole bunch of flies and then I'll go back and brush them all out and, and trim them. Um, you know, they shouldn't take you five minutes. There's only four individual clumps of material on this. It's, it's plus the, the flash, of course. But it, it's a really simple to fly to tie. Anyway, be sure and watch for more of my videos on Enrico Fiber. I'm, uh, this is uh, actually part two of an introduction to the Enrico uh, 3D material, or the SE material, I'm sorry, or scaled effect material. I really like this stuff. Uh, too often people use way too much material and with the straight material um, you know that's a bad thing but with the three uh, with this SE material when used in the in the correct proportions I'm using about two-thirds of what I did with the regular material anyway good luck and uh, tying a few of these and like I say it's not that difficult Thanks.